welcome to my channel. Today we've got another garden tour and let's have a look what's growing because everything looks very lush and green. Okay, but before we start, please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time. Okay, let's jump into this garden tour. Okay, cherries. Cherries are happening. It doesn't look like we're going to get any apples this year. There is not one apple on here. I am presuming it is because we moved the tree and it didn't like it. Not sure, but there are certainly no apples anywhere. Perhaps they pick up next year. Who knows? But they're doing well. And look at this. Carrots, green beans, huge radishes. Look at these peas. Aren't they pretty? Peas are doing amazing. Up. Little pea pod. Pansies have been picked this morning. Turnips, yeah, we pulled out the turnips from in here. They had bolted. So I've got a feeling these might be doing the same. Let me have a look. Mm, maybe, maybe not. So I might be able to pick some of them and use them soon. Sweet corn's doing okay. We've got a little celery just there. And another one. Sweet corn's doing great, beans are doing great. Raspberries. Yep, they're all coming up. And this blueberry bush, look at it. It is jam packed. Right. Let's go over this way. Lavender's been going well. Actually, I could pick some of this. on my dehydrator I forgot to pick it earlier I picked the pansies and the calendula and the nasturtiums but did not pick the lavender and just to let you know the lavender leaves are edible as well Seems every couple of days I come out and pick a few lavender, just a few little bits, it all adds up. I like putting this in my hot teas that I make because it's relaxing. Okay. This is savoury, this is the mints, lemon verbena, more mints, my relunculus is, yeah it's died, it hasn't liked it here, and these petunias are just glorious, aren't they pretty? These are calendula. Let's have a look up here. A squash, a courgette. It's a courgette. It's doing really well. Let's have a look. Uh. Lettuce looking good. Everything is looking good. We've got little carrots growing. And you can see these. 
The cabbages are looking amazing. Again, they've been picked. I'm going to put those in my pocket. Hopefully I won't forget that they're in there. And the beans, it's the first few beans. You can see little beans there. So it won't be long before we start picking those. Look at that. Lots of flowers. Swiss shard just there. Okay, let's go down the garden. And raspberries, look at these. Green raspberries. Strawberries are flowering, look at them. As you can see, I've put some straw down as mulch. I always do that. Excuse me, Mr. Bumblebee. And look at all these green. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy currants. This is jam packed. Nasturtiums are just starting to flower. We've got the little violas. They've been flowering. Oh, look. Something seemed bad. It's a calendula. They're doing really well. Coming through. Potatoes, squashes, squashes. My number three child, he loves picking peas. He can come down. Look at the potatoes over there. You can't even see into the bed anymore. But all these have come up. My dad's roses are still in bloom. And there. Rose that we got for my dog that passed away is looking glorious. This is so pretty. Right, let's open the greenhouse. Here we are. Potatoes. Plantain. Ginger. Potatoes, potatoes. Ginger. So let's have a look. I can see little cucumbers coming. Look at them. You go cucumbers. You can see. I do need winding up a little bit. Stop hanging on to the wrong one. Get off. Just every few days I have to come out and just wind them. Just so they stay where they need to be. Look at all those yellow flowers. Look at them all. One of these jobs that can run away from you a little if you're not careful. I always try to get them done. There we are, the peppers are doing okay. It's going to be time to top them, make them go bushy. Sweet potato is in. There's three in here. Peas. Green beans you can see is climbing. Absolutely beautiful. 
and the herbs here they're doing really well he looks a bit worse for wear but everything else seems to be doing okay and look how crazy these tomatoes are my goodness I can see I need to do some trimming and what I do is I just take the lower branches like so that was a side sucker if you put that straight into dirt it will regrow there's another one That one off. Okay, what we got going on here? That one. We suffered with blight horribly last year. We didn't get any tomatoes due to it. And again, let's see. Sweet potato, celery, celery, sweet potato. More celery there, more celery there, you can see it's all doing okay, we just threw the sweet potatoes in with the bag because we had nowhere to plant them but we wanted to plant them, <laughs> so yeah that's how that went, we just threw them in here, here, there and everywhere, I think every bed has one or two sweet potatoes we'll see see how this goes here is dandelion that there for some unknown reason is a tomato in there we've got tomato here as well in here we have thrown ripped out all the salad because it bolted we've got down as much as we could and now we're thrown in to get some more so we're waiting for that to come up as you can see is happening spring onions have been planted into here these are more herbs several different mints what have we got basil mint ginger mint i think there's chocolate mint uh gold thyme i think that's just normal mint no nope, moroccan mint and that's compact oregano this is a white currant that we've put in this year doing really well you can see the raspberries are getting there won't be long before we're picking them plenty of pollinators in the garden you always make sure there's flowers for the pollinators when you're planting a vegetable garden please plant some flowers as well because your vegetables won't grow unless you've got pollinators pollinating them so definitely need and here we've got more calendula this is a wine berry in here there's a squash of some sort wine berry it's a fig tree fig tree's doing well so, um, this time of year it just looks so green and it's so peaceful so peaceful I was thinking I might put because my spinach has gone to seed I may rip those out and put some of the peppers in there or the chilies. I'm just a bit concerned that my dogs might get to them lavender just the smell of it is relaxing it's a bit like lemon balm I love lemon balm that too is great for stress and anxiety and to help you sleep so if you're rather an anxious person and you know you're not keen on taking medicines from a doctor try lemon balm put a couple of tablespoons of lemon balm which is this one Pour over boiling water, let that steep for five to ten minutes. And then drink it 
and add a teaspoon of honey if you want raw honey if you can afford it because that has good healing properties in that better than the, all the other honeys but don't don't go out and buy it if you can't afford it just normal honey honey would do look at these snap dragons I've got to show you these Aren't they beautiful? Antivinums. Better known as snapdragons. Okay, I think that's it for this garden tour. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, that way you will not miss a video. So until next time everyone, happy gardening.